All right, guys, uh, another 2017 NCAA championship uh, in the books. You guys finished 15th as a program, which is the uh, the highest finish in Coach Moody's tenure and the highest finish the program's had in three decades. Uh, Tom, we'll start with you. Just, just overall, not just the two of you guys, but the entire lineup that you brought, Finn and Cody and Jordan diving and, and several different guys on relays. Uh, how uh, how pleased are you guys to, to be able to put up the kind of performance that you did and take this program to even new heights this year? I think at the beginning of the year we had a couple goals, and uh, one of them was to get a lot more guys to the meet, and we were able to do that. Um, we went from last year having, I think, six or seven guys to putting, bringing ten guys to the meet. So that lets everybody know in the locker room that, hey, we can make it. We can be the next guy to be up there and scoring some points. So that was one of our goals. And then after that, we said, if we can get this, this many guys there, we can be top 15. And the whole year, we're, we're thinking about top 15. We just got to keep on improving from last year. And next year, we're going to keep on improving both numbers-wise, getting more people there, and trying to end a little bit higher. Akram, when you see that big number with you guys at Nationals, it's not six, it's 10. And, and, and you know, you guys have somebody going every session, every day, as opposed to maybe previous years where you only had a couple guys going at a time. Do you feed off of that when you see so many of your teammates not only pulling for you when you're in the pool, but also opportunities to, to root for them throughout the day? Yeah, of course. It gave us, uh, gave us a lot of support and that we wanted to uh, swim our best and do everything we got for th those teammates because they cheer us loud every single day, prelims, finals, and we really, really support them and we want to like get better and better so we can improve our team maybe next year we have we can have four or five more guys next year and hopefully we can be close to top 10 before we leave individually take me through that uh, 1650 on saturday evening yeah. you finished third uh, much like last year it was an incredibly close race difference in this one being that uh, i believe four guys were under the american record yeah. yourself included 1422 uh, now that you've had a, about a week to think about it, you've got a little perspective. It, it just take me through that entire race. Um, at the beginning of the season, like I put <laughs> my goal, and my goal was to go to go fourteen twenty seven, and that's four second drop from last year. And then, like I struggled a little bit during the, throughout the season, like I wasn't going that fast in doing meets, and I talked to Coach Moody about it. And uh, I was, uh, my fast 500, I think, was 428 and the mile, 15, 17. And I didn't win, I think, the mile, um, except for the doing meet against Kentucky. So I was a little bit worried about my performance going uh, to SECs and then NCAAs. But then at SECs, I was 14, 38, 9, which is, uh, put me at, uh, in lane 8. At uh, NCAA's in the fast seat, I just wanted to have a spot in the fast seat, and I ended up being eighth in outside lane, which is not a bad thing, but it's still not a good thing. But uh, <laughs> uh, at NCAA's, me, Coach Moody, Coach Martin, the whole coaching staff uh, put a strategy that I want to swim, that I'm not gonna go fast in the first 500, and that's uh, what I did. And like um, the second 500, I started to pick up my pace, and then I, see, I can see like the whole coaching staff like cheering for me and like doing like uh, face bumps and stuff. And then uh, last 500, I was like, okay, I'm I'm getting closer and closer every single hundred, so I'll just go and do my best. And that was the best race I can ever swim. So. There has to be some satisfaction. You said your goal was 14.27, which was already a four-second drop from yeah. last year, and then you smashed it by nine seconds. So uh, even though you didn't get to stand on the, on the number one spot on the podium, there still has to internally be a lot of satisfaction that, that you, you had your plan and you had your goals 12 months ago, yeah. and not only did you meet those, you exceeded those. Yeah, I mean, like I'm really happy and proud of the work that we put throughout the whole season. Me, uh, the whole team, the whole coach, coaching staff. We wanted like to get better, and our goal was to get top 15 or better, and that's what we did because we have been working really hard the last, especially the last month. We have been going really fast. Coach Moody told us that we're gonna be super fast at NCAA's, and he was right because he he was like he came and see every single practice that we have been uh, doing, and he thought we can be really good at NCAA's. So we just wanted to have fun at the meet, um, 
swim best times and give the support for the team and be the best we can be. Uh, last season, Tom, you were the, the school's first four-time All-American, and I think it was 27 years, and then you did the same thing uh, last week, so a, a second straight season of four All-America honors. Uh, that's, a, that's a packed meet for you to, to race for, not just four events, but with so many of those having both the morning prelims and, and evening finals. That's a, a lot of swimming in a week. Uh, how, do you, uh, how do you maintain that high of a, of a level of performance for, for the uh, entire duration of the event? Well, not only practice. I mean, obviously, everybody practices to be uh, to be able to last the whole meet and and do it, get up on prelims and get up in finals. But I take pride in being one of the most versatile guys when it comes to it. I might not have an event as fast as Ockham's Mile, but I'm there in finals and I'm there in the top 16 uh, in all my events, and I take pride in that. And throughout the season, the coaches. I've been floating around events. I've been doing the 200 freestyle, the 100 freestyle. I've been floating around groups, just trying out different power sets and things like that, that I think lets me be ready for prelims and finals when it comes to any event. And I knew it was going to be a little bit tougher this year. The sport's getting really, really fast. And um, we even talked about maybe saying do two races, not all three individuals. And there was some doubt. But at the end of the day, we put in the work. All, everybody puts in the work, and, and anybody on the team is ready to do it. It just it was my opportunity this year again, and I took it, and yeah, I'm very happy I was able to do that again. Uh, both of you guys have one more go-round with the Gamecocks, and, and, and the program has steadily gotten better from when you were freshman to last year to now this season, 15th overall, which is, uh, especially given the current era of Collegiate swimming, probably the best uh, that the program has ever really done at NCAA. So with, with one more opportunity, and I'll ask both of you, individually but also team-wise, uh, what goals do you guys have left for next season? Um, as I, Like I said, we're going to be um, make it close to top 10, and I think we're capable of doing that. Like Every year, me, the whole team puts uh, goals for uh, each year, but me, Tom, Niels, Finn, Cody um, sit together at the beginning of the season and then we'll be like, uh, what do we have to do to get better and have more people into the blades, uh, score more points so we can get top 10 next year or maybe closer. So we're going to do that at the beginning of this season for sure and I'm confident we can be top 10. I think um, as a team, uh, we want to get a bigger presence there once again, but we also want to get a bigger presence in the events that are double points at the meet, meet, which are the relays. We had a relay, two relays this year. We had only one the previous year, and I think we can get four or five, all five relays to the meet next year. And um, we are very close to actually getting all four or five this year. Um, and individually, um, once again, I want to be a four-time All-American, close it out that way. But I want to be able to get in the top eight in two or three events and be able to finish my career off in a strong way. Okay, we do have one more bonus question for you. With, with everything that's going on with men's basketball and with women's basketball being in the Final Four, can you both just talk a little bit about what it means right now to be an athlete at the University of South Carolina, the pride that you may have, or what, what does that mean to you at this point with, with the athletic department getting as much um, credit and and exposure as it's getting right now what does it mean to you um for me like it's a huge privilege to be a gamecock athlete here and represent the university of south carolina and especially the last couple of weeks when we saw, uh, saw the men's basketball make the final four and had a great tournament uh, same thing for women basketball and that gave us like pride in what we're doing that we want to be the best we can be to represent the Gamecock Nation every single year. And because a lot of people put a lot of expectation on us and we want to be, we want to prove that to everyone that we're going to do it. No matter what, how, like no matter how is it going to take, we're going to do it. We're going to put the work, we're going to work really hard every single day so we can improve and be the best we can be. I think the most special part about being a Gamecock athlete is a support group that we have, not only within athletes, but also from fans and our advisors, our, our staff. Um, 
no matter what sport you play, whether it's basketball or football, which is one of the bigger sports, they all they get a lot of the headlines. When we came back after the Final Four appearance, we still got congratulations from everybody, and that that's very cool to to know that at a big stage, the basketball team is doing amazing things, and you're still getting noticed, and you're still getting all this credit, and then even the basketball players come up to you and they're like, hey, congrats, and you're giving them congrats back. So doing that for each other and and just making the university being noticeable at a, a world stage at this point, uh, I think that's amazing, and I think that's why we do it. And really just the pride of being a Gamecock with an athlete, staff, and everything is it's amazing. Very cool. Well, listen, it certainly is an exciting time to be a Gamecock. Both of you guys are a big part of it, as is your entire swimming and diving program. Congratulations on what you did last week, and uh, we'll be looking for big things over the summer and into next year. Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate that.